Hey, welcome everybody. It's Weekend Report on Sooner Politics. Glad to have you with us uh, this uh, Saturday evening. It's been quite a weekend. I hope you're not gaining as much weight as uh, the rest of us. Hope you're staying as healthy as possible and it's time to shut the music up. Thank you. Need to fire my sound man, except I'm the sound man tonight. Yeah, that's right. We're practicing quarantine here, and my wife doesn't understand how to run this thing. So, you got me tonight. It's good to see you. We've got a lot of things going on here. Let's get right into it. First of all, it is Easter weekend, Saturday night. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope your family's finding ways to observe this uh, solemn uh, end of the lentil season, uh, as um, my Catholic mother calls it, and uh, hope you're enjoying uh, the fresh air and the springtime as much as you can get out and around. Let's talk about what's going on. First of all, the big news of the last, what, couple of months has been the uh, global pandemic, and we've got some fresh numbers for you tonight. Let's pull those up right now. Okay, well, let's see. <laughs> Got to get out of the way here of this big screen. I want to blow it up as big as I could so you could see uh, just what's going on here with uh, this bar chart. Okay, what you see is every day for the last, oh, close to a month, and you see the yellow bars that tells us how many new cases have been diagnosed, that means tested. Tested not for antibodies, but tested for the actual virus uh, being present. So now you see what's going on here in about the last 10 days is all of a sudden they opened up the testing more. We got a hold of more tests. We weren't just testing those who are close to death and then wondering why our rate of death is so high. Uh, sadly, the death rate hasn't really come down. Now, it's been bouncing up and around, but earlier this week, we had 16 people dying one day. Spiked us up to a 5% death rate. Now, that's not good news if you're a retiree. But if you're under 65, the death rate is less than 1% on this. And obviously, that's more likely going to be likely comorbidity is the term they mean. It means you've already got a number of issues that you're struggling with. Now, there have been some just devastating cases where, you know, you think they could do it over again, probably do it better. Uh, so we're going to uh, take a look at that. Uh, but let's take a look at what's going, gone on in the last few days. Uh, we had, like I say, the 16 reported deaths. Now, that's going to be the lower bar, the red bar, uh, down low. As you can see, we spiked up one day about uh, five, five, six days ago to 16. Since then, we've come down. Now, the next day wasn't all that great, but then uh, three days ago, we were down to one death in the state. So, um and, you know, we've not jumped back over 10 since then. Could this be that we're already on the downside? I doubt it. The, the actual case numbers keep rising. Again, this isn't total cases. This is total new cases. What we're looking at is the rate of growth. Something you've heard bantied about is the term exponential. That means, you know, when you triple three, you get nine. When you triple nine, you get 27. When you triple 27, I don't know the answer, okay? I didn't write it down. But again, that's called exponential growth. The explosion, the chain reaction, if you will. What we're seeing is a containment of that part of it. So even though we're growing, this is where they talk about on the bell curve that we might likely be seeing uh kind of nearing the top of the hill, if you will, where we're getting ready, perhaps, to reach the peak. Now, the models, the national and global models, predict that we're going to hit that peak. That means the most active cases uh, in about 10 days, okay? But again, these are models. They have drastically changed these models since uh, a month ago. All right. A couple months ago, they were talking, you know, we might be facing 2 million deaths in the United States. 
Um, now they're saying probably not even a hundred thousand. So anyway, uh, so there's that chart. Now here's a, a, a better uh, picture to go with uh, what we were first talking. Well, we just went into the next story. Let's stop there. So anyway, uh, that's the news on uh, the pandemic. Let's talk a little.